are new developments regarding the Paula Dean controversy. Now, the celebrity chef has been dropped from the Food Network after news broke last week that she admitted to using racial slurs in the past. Now, the admission was made during a deposition that was part of a lawsuit. The 66 year old former Food Network star was asked about her racial attitudes after a former manager of one of her restaurants sued Dean and her brother, alleging that she was sexually harassed and worked in a hostile environment rife with racial slurs. Now, according to the deposition, Dean was asked whether she has ever used the N-word, and she replied, quote, yes, of course, and continued on to say, quote, it's been a very long time. Now, Dean issued this apology video late last week. Take a look. I want to apologize to everybody uh, for the wrong that I've done. Uh, I want to learn and grow from this. Inappropriate, hurtful language is totally, totally unacceptable. I've made plenty of mistakes along the way, but I beg you, my children, my team, my fans, my partners, I beg for your forgiveness. Please forgive me for the mistakes that I've made. So does the Food Network make the right decision? Now, we want to hear from you. We have a poll up on HannityLive.FoxNews.com. HannityLive.FoxNews.com. And here to debate this, Fox News contributors Jacques DeGroff and Denis Borelli. Um, welcome both to you. Hello. You're a minister. Mm -hmm. She's saying, please accept my apology. Should her apology be accepted? I think her apology should be accepted. She's been on the network for over a decade. She has a legion of fans. She appeared on the network. Her t t public personality was a pleasing, popular one. So as a Christian and as an American, I, I would accept her apology. But apologies also go with some kind of form. Repentance is an act. There was something that you ought to do to make that apology. Well, the Latin for repentance is to change your heart. Yes. Do you think she was step. sincere? It be, well, in, in one of the uh, videos, she had several apologies. In one of them, she appeared sincere. Uh, my bigger concern is this, uh, this, these allegations grew out of a lawsuit which, which alleged harassment in the workplace, and, and it's now been amplified by other workers who are coming forward. Yeah. That seems to be the problem. And but, she could have settled it out of court. But really, this lawsuit needs to play out in court. I mean, here we have a celebrity chef chef who is more responsible for her actions than our chief law enforcement officer of the country, Eric Holder. At least she owned up to it. She was honest about it. She apologized. I think the network overreacted. They really shot up from the hip really quick and they just overreacted with the whole thing. And now there's a ripple effect. The words repugnant. It's, it's just totally unacceptable for anybody to say. Let me ask you this. I have a tape of Reverend Al Sharpton and I could play it, but I'm not going to play it of him using the N-word talking about David Dinkins. Yeah. Should the same standard apply to him? It's a long time ago. He said it. It's on tape in his case. Yeah. Why was it not? Right. I mean, uh, exactly. Or, or should, it, there is a double standard. Should we accept that he's moved on? But that's the thing. There's a double standard, Sean. Here, we have the pitchforks and torches after this woman. And then we have Al Sharpton, who says things on a daily basis on television, race car politics, and he's not held accountable. And he has his own television program. What's wrong with that picture? Is there a double standard there? Well, uh, Al Sharpton aside, because I believe that's a distraction. There is a, there is a debate. race car be, politics. It, that's not the subject. The subject is the, the N-word and its use. And if we're going to be honest, I think that we would say there is a debate in the black community about the use of the word. Some of it's intergenerational, some of it's lifestyle or cultural. I think it's wrong by anybody to use it. I agree with you. It's wrong. So, but, but so, so I can understand those who would say, if it's wrong for, uh, if it's wrong for D D Paula Dean, then it's wrong for, and, and it's wrong for um, Don Imus to use certain what images. What we're saying is there's a, a double concept. standard. But Al Sharpton has a business contract with MSNBC. Who, who make if MSNBC have apologized, the, Al Sharpton hasn't apologized be, be, because, for anything because from Tawana saying, Brawley to race car politics. But that's not the subject of this discussion. No, it's not, but you brought but it up. I, no, I didn't bring up Al Sharpton, you did. But what I'm saying Actually, is... Actually, Sean that, did. Uh, <laughs> um, what I'm simply saying is that when it comes to uh, this discussion on this word, there's a cultural divide. And I believe that whether you consider it politically but, correct. Sean, I believe you know the what? right thing is right. the word There's is a wrong. difference between words and actions. Here we had uh, Robert Byrd, okay? He was a Klansman, Grand Clable Cyclops, whatever his title was. He was a known racist, and he was the head of the Senate majority leadership for the Democrats. I mean, what's wrong with that picture as well? 
Be, How was it that people, he was able because, to stay in office? Because people looked at his heart and felt that his, he had changed. His past and what, what, what had happened is this is not a referendum. Did you that the public, him? This is not a referendum I didn't have an opportunity to vote for him because I don't but live in his you, state. Do you disagree with the fact that he was able to have such a position and he was a former Klansman? Former I'm, Grand Poobah. I, I, I accept the fact that he changed in his heart and voters changed. So you, you, I supported his leadership. So you but, approve but, but, the, but the issue That's is, shocking. But the issue is that well, Paul it seems like it's a Democrat. That's a double you, standard. It's like a dem every, you, you're making excuses for Al, excuses for. No, I'm not for making any excuses. Bird. I'm saying I'm saying if MSNBC wants to fire Al Sharpton tomorrow, that's a business. You know what? What about make. Bill Clinton? Just a few years ago, he said about President, uh, former Pre well, Obama. A few years ago, this guy would have been getting us coffee. Did you hear about that comment? Is yeah, that something of course that's degrading? Did you did you? It, I didn't see I didn't see that? that as a racial comment. I saw it more How as is a, it not racist? I, uh, because I saw it more as a this is a junior guy who's that's getting totally a free pass. In, in who's getting a free pass. racist comment. I didn't, and I didn't, you have I didn't a double standard much. going. Here, I do totally. not. I do not have a double standard. I have an American Capital standard, D. and I believe that it's a business dispute. Paul Dean's relationship with the Food Network and is a business relationship. let the market decide whether her career The market is has decided, and that's why Food not. Network made a decision to let her go. Let the free market let the, decide. Let I think go. they overreact. The market has right. decided. We're going to let it there, let it go there. Thank you both. Good to see you. Thank you.